Hello, my name is Mark and um, I am a owner of the Creamware NOAA AX and I want to explain how to solve a problem with the software that is provided at the FTP server. As you probably experienced yourself when you download uh, the latest version of, of the Creamware NOAA driver uh, version 1.1 it can happen that uh, some modules are not uh, visible anymore or other modules cannot be loaded anymore. As you can see here, um, I have installed uh, the, the NOAA 1.1 software and you see there is something missing here and on the other side, at the instrument side, there is also something missing. I don't know if this problem only occurs if you uh, done a firmware update of the NOAA before or not, but uh, for a fact, um, s many users I've uh, seen on the internet uh, which have this problem. So, for example, if I want to load a device like the Vectron player, see there's like nothing happening. You can try the Pro 1, there's nothing happening. The only device I can actually load is the Minimax. And here, where actually the... Um, I don't know what is there now. I, I can't click anything. And when I try again, the Pro 1, see it's trying to load something and there's nothing. So, and uh, how we have figured out uh, this problem relates to um, the uh, NOAA software version 1.1 and all what you have to do actually to fix it is to install version 1.0, like the original CD. Um, but if you have lost your CD, then you obviously will do have a problem because on the internet you probably will never find the original CD anymore. Nobody offers it for download or everything, anything. So actually you know Noah is like, it's, 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 you can't use it anymore properly. But what you can do is you just go on the internet and go onto my homepage which is fso.net16.net you can skip the intro and click on Technik Know-how. This page is actually completely in German, but I think you understand me, even if, if my English is a little bit broken. Just go to Technik Know-how and choose the third link from the top. It's called Cream Vanua Software Problem. And here I explained the, the issue in text and it's in English language as well. Just scroll completely down and choose here either you want to have the backup directory of the NOAA version 1.0. This link relates to uh, Mediafire share of me. And you can download this file, uh, this NOAA backup raw and just just copy it uh, over the existing uh, NOAA 1.1 installation. So if you have no CD anymore, you first install the uh, NOAA Creamware version 1.1, uh, which I have also offered here on my homepage. And then afterwards you download the Creamware NOAA version 1.0 backup install directory and copy that one on top of the installation uh, you have made. So we can try that, for example. Um, so I have to find the directory again where I've uh, copied the thing. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me. I have to try to remember where I had I have copied it. I think it was Yeah. So you see, this is the uh, NOAA directory from my old hard drive. So I just go there, copy it, open the explorer, 
go to the existing C NOAA directory, which is the installation directory of the 1.1 version. I know you shouldn't do this, but it is working. Yes, replace. Yes. And uh, the other good thing about this video is actually that um, we are trying this now on Windows 7, as you can see, and the driver installation worked on Windows 7, which is good. So we now know that uh, the Creamware Noah will also work together with Windows 7. But I, uh, me personally, actually use it with Windows XP. So it takes quite a long time now. He's saying something about six minutes remaining. This is like crap to me to copy less than 40 megabytes. Now he's saying something. Try again. I don't know why he's showing me this crap now. I did not have this on Windows XP. Pfft. Oh my god. I see already it's not working. So let's close this one. Actually, we should have closed the application before. Try to open again the NOAA software. And as we can see already, um, it worked. We now have all the modules here, and he loaded the Pro 1. Uh, so we have some double entries now, but um, we can go into inside the NOAA directory and delete the, uh, the double entry. I think it was with the underscore. So when we try to load the modules, all is working. So this is how to fix it. And um, as I have said, um, I run into this problem several times now and I have lost my own CD and I've seen many people on the internet uh, in forums which have posted about the same problem and We've been, uh, they have been looking for the CD as well, and nobody knew how to fix it. So if you have the same problem with this NOAA, just go to my homepage, um, download the uh, old backup directory and copy it over the existing 1.1 installation, and will actually it will fix all the problems you have with the NOAA. Thanks for watching.